Hi guys, good evening. Happy Sunday to you. I hope your weekend was uh, restful, fun, and wonderful. Uh, and I hope you've all managed to stay cool uh, where no matter where you are in the part of the country. I know it's been getting really hot lately, so hopefully you all managed to stay relatively cool. Uh, welcome back once again to The Edward. I'm your host, Eddie, and in tonight's video, I'd like to welcome you to another installment of my mini-series, how to get excited for. In tonight's video, I will be giving you guys suggestions and recommendations on how to get excited for the upcoming television premiere of Zoo Season 2, which premieres on CBS this Tuesday, June 28th. And uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. So uh, before I start uh, going on, of course, I should warn you, I may or may not be referring to Zoo Season 1. If I do, I will try not to reveal anything too spoilerish. For you, for those of you who have not seen the first season yet, you can watch it on Netflix, streaming all of the episodes. Uh, I'll get to that later. But uh, please be warned that I will be making references to Zoo Season 1. However, I will try to keep it as spoiler-free as possible, so you have been warned. That being said, basically, Zoo, uh, the TV show, is based off of the graphic novel with the same name written by James Patterson. Uh, Zoo is about a young scientist who discovers this outbreak all over the world, an outbreak of hyper-aggressive animal attacks and what's causing it. It's a mystery, adventure, uh, action-packed animal attack type of story with some great characters and some uh, amazing uh, action scenes. It's, uh, it's pretty awesome. And, of course, I was super excited about season one, and I think one of my favorite episodes remains to be the series premiere, the pilot episode that opens in Africa because it was almost like a direct adaptation from graphic novel to the TV screen. And I was like, oh, wow, you know, they got all the parts down, like all the male lions attacking people, the characters, they changed a few things up, but it was off to a hell of a start. And the season, the first season was great. It was a lot of fun. We got to know these characters, you know, we fell in love with them, some more than others. Uh, we saw them in a lot of scary situations with hyper aggressive animals it was great so uh, basically if you want to get in the mood for zoo I would recommend either reading the graphic novel unless you'd rather uh, just wait for season two to start because I don't know how much of the material that they intend to use from the graphic novel in the show because I know I recognize a lot of elements and scenes and characters in season one that were taken directly from the graphic novel. Whether or not that'll be true for season two, who knows? But if you want to get a taste of what's to come in season two, excellent read. This is the very first graphic novel I ever fell in love with, and I was so happy when I heard they were making it into a TV show, because I thought, why haven't they made this into a show or a movie? And sure enough, they did. Uh, also, uh, what I would recommend, if you want to get yourself in the mood for a TV show about hyper-aggressive, crazy animals attacking people for no reason or uh, mysterious reasons, I would recommend some of my personal anim favorite animal attack films, such as The Ghost in the Darkness with uh, Val Kilmer and Michael Douglas. Great movie. Great, great movie. It's a fun uh, thriller about a man who goes to Brit build a bridge in Africa in the 19th century. And uh, uh, operations to build the bridge are constantly interrupted by two man-eating lions. Michael Douglas is the hunter who's called in to help him take them down. It's a great flick. Highly recommended for those of you who haven't seen it yet. But it's a pretty old movie. It's been out since uh, it came out in 96. But I thought it was great. I fell in love with it. Um, and uh, it's a great, it's a great, uh, it's a great movie. You know, it's a good, uh, intense uh, thriller with uh, some creep, with some great animal attack scenes. It's about a couple man-eating lions. The perfect uh, thing to get you in the mood for Zoo season two. And if you're not a big cat person, or if you're scared of lions, or you don't care for either one of those actors, or whatever your reasons may be, then I recommend another personal favorite uh, animal attack movie of mine. The Edge with Anthony Hopkins and Alec Baldwin, two amazing, great actors in a really intense adventure thriller story with great character drama and conflict. It has everything. It's got humor, action, uh, scary sequences, a couple of likable and not so likable characters. It has redemption in it. I won't go on and on and reveal too much, but basically it's not just about these two guys lost in the woods. Part of the movie is 
two guys who don't really like each other that much get lost in the Alaskan wilderness. And part of the movie is about them avoiding this giant grizzly bear. This uh, man-eating, or no, it's not a grizzly bear, it's a Kodiak bear. This man-eating Kodiak bear that stalks them during a part of the movie. And it's a great uh, bear attack movie. It's a lot of fun. Uh, in fact, if you enjoyed The Ghost in the Darkness, I would highly recommend The Edge. Because I watched this one shortly after watching this movie and uh, I loved it. In fact, I may watch this later tonight while I'm uploading this video. Great movie, great actors. Uh, you know, So that was a lion attack movie. This one is about a bear attack. And of course, uh, based, the best way to get in the mood for Zoo Season 2 is just binge watch all of Season 1. However, for those of you who have a pretty good memory like me, you probably don't need to do that unless you really want to watch some of your personal favorite episodes. If that's what you want to do, I would highly recommend the series premiere, the pilot episode, which is a two-parter, I believe about the man-eating lions in Africa. And then episode eight is called The Cheese Stands Alone. That is a great episode because it was an episode I was hoping to see where it's about uh, crazed uh, rats that have infested the small coastal town and the team has to go there and try to eradicate them. It's a great, intense episode with some memorable moments in it. Also, last year's season finale was also quite enjoyable. In fact, the last half of the first season is extremely enjoyable. It starts off great in the first season, it gets a little slow, but still is engaging and interesting in the middle, and then it really picks up in the end. And uh, it's a great show overall. Highly uh, recommend um, the episodes that I mentioned. However, if you haven't seen the show at all, you could just binge watch all of it on Netflix, all streaming. And what was so interesting about it too is that shortly after season one finished, almost like a week or two weeks later, it immediately went to streaming on Netflix. I was like, oh wow. What the hell? This is recommended to me. Of course it was recommended to me. I love this show. But I was like, wow, it's already streaming. So if you're on Netflix and you have streaming capabilities, watch Zoo. It's a great watch. It's only about 13 episodes in the first season. So it's more than enough time to get ready for the Tuesday night premiere of season two. All right, you guys. I hope uh, you found these uh, suggestions and recommendations helpful. And uh, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel uh, for more videos like uh, how to get excited for in my episode and film review videos. You can check out my previous one, which was the Independence Day Resurgence film review. Great movie. You can check it out. Also, check out my Facebook page in the description down below. Uh, I think you'll like what you see. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget that Zoo Season 2 premieres on CBS Tuesday night, June 28th. I think it's going to be fun. All right, guys. Have a great rest of the night. Thanks again for stopping by. And of course, until next time, may the force be with you.